On October 19, 1986, Delegiwa received a parcel while still studying with a friend, Kayo De Shoinka. When he opened it, the contents killed him as it turned out to be a bomb. He was 39 years old. 37 years later, his death remains a mystery. Who killed Delegiwa? Welcome to Beats and Pieces with Adi. My name is Adeswa Egbon, and on today's episode, we'll talk about journalist and founder of Newswatch, Delegiwa, and the events that led to his death. Let's get into it. Delegiwa, whose birth name was Sumonu Oladelegiwa, was born on March 16, 1947. His family works in the palace of the Oni of Ife, Oba Adesoji Adiremi. He did well in school and pursued a higher education in the United States of America, earning a BA in English. He worked in the New York Times as a news assistant for four years before locating back to Nigeria to work for the Daily Times. In 1984, Daily, along with other journalists, Ray Eku, Dan Abese and Yakubu Mohammed founded their own magazine, which they named Newswatch. The first edition was released on 28 January 1985. It was praised as a trailblazing publication. And when General Ibrahim Babangida came in as head of state in August 1985, his face was on the cover four times. His detractors were also criticized by the publication. The paper soon started to criticize the new head of state. Giwa's harsh criticism of the government and its policies earned him two invitations to the SSS headquarters. He started to confide in friends that he feared for his life and safety. His friend and Minister of Communications, Tony Momo, reportedly told him not to worry and reassured him of his safety, but promised to look into the matter. On October 18, a day before the bombing, Colonel Halilu Akilu of the Directorate of Military Intelligence, DMI, who had previously questioned Giva on the phone over allegations that he had been speaking to people about arms importation, called to inquire about driving directions to Giva's house. Giva's wife asked why he wanted directions to the house, and he said he only wanted to stop by. The next day, Giva called Akilu to ask why he was looking for him, and Akilu said he wanted to tell him the matter had been resolved, to which Giva said he had taken it up with his lawyer, Gani Fawehimi. Akilu told Giva there was no need for that. 40 minutes after the phone conversation with Akilu, a parcel arrived for Giwa, which was handed to Giwa's son, Billy, by the guard. According to Billy, the letter carried the seal of the Nigerian coat of arms. Billy said that this was not the first time his father had received letters from the government. When Giwa received the package, he was with Kayode Shoyinka, who was London Bureau of Newswatch. Shoyinka excused himself to use the restroom when he heard a deafening sound. Giwa had opened the parcel, which exploded and wounded him. He was rushed to the hospital where he later died from his injuries. The government denied any hand in the tragedy and for 37 years, the case has remained cold. The question still remains, who killed Delegiwa? What do you think? What are your theories about this unsolved mystery? I'd love to read your comments. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching Bits and Pieces with Adi. Until next time, have a good one. <music>